Don't buy a suit for $23. In today's video, we are trying something several of you have likely tried at home. We've bought several Wish products online, and now we're going to test them out. Guys, a while ago, we bought five what were supposed to be robot vacuums off of Wish, and I got those because I was intrigued because they're like $8 each. And it turns out there was no suction to them, just had like a couple brushes. There wasn't they... even really a cloth that went on it. Oh, that's what it was. It wasn't even yeah. brushes. It was just yes. a Velcroed on, slightly fuzzy piece of cloth that's good for like dusting your floor gently. We decided we wanted to try some other things mm -hmm. from Wish. So we found five products that we wanted to try out that seemed that there was no way you could get good versions of for the prices that we paid. Here's the basic idea. We have bought five products from Wish.com. We have bought robot cleaners in a previous video, and this time we're trying out five new products. What sort of stuff can we get from Wish? Just to go through in order, mm -hmm. this is supposed to be a drill, like a power drill. This right here is a men's suit. Supposedly a three-piece suit. This is what was labeled as a 99 million lumen flashlight. This should be the sun. This is probably like the spotlight on top of the Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas. I have an evening gown. We'll see. And then these are supposed to be comparable to like our Bose headphones. Like these are supposed to be absolutely phenomenal, great bass, they're water resistant. They say Motorola brand. I wonder if they are in fact Motorola. Yes. Or if they're just like yeah, that box is cheap to print. We can make as many of that box as we want. There's always rumors of when you buy things from China that maybe you are actually getting the actual product made in the real factory and they you just see, like, keep running off the books a little bit. Yes, like AirPods and stuff. I've seen those on Wish and I'm very curious. These are showing up on Amazon at $31. Okay, I think I got these for 18. <laughs> they look high. Yes, is there anything else in the, okay, cord. So it's wireless, but you know, sure. Very, very lightweight, which I mean, if it's on your head, not bad. Oh no. I mean, they are the round shape. The round shape's just never comfortable. Oh, Can no, you turn it up more? I'm just trying to see what it sounds like louder. Oh, not great. I can't hear a thing you're saying at all, <laughs> like zero. I can't even hear me, let alone you. Does We've got it? the volume up fairly high. I have no idea how loud I'm talking right now. Do, is it, is it I painful? Can't hear, I can't hear myself. I can't hear you. Is it, does it hurt? I don't know this song. I don't know what it's supposed to sound like. <laughs> Good. I'm listening to music from How to Train Your Dragon because I know it very well. Uh, so that was those headphones. Now I'm gonna try it with yeah, that's awful. these headphones. It doesn't play well at loud volumes whatsoever. There you go. <laughs> this one isn't currently quite here. I, oh, I got it. You got it? I'm gonna start them at the exact same time. Basically, there's like whole instruments I can't even hear. It's just like this, this continuous droning sound. I'm, I'm also hearing like a sound sort of in the background of it. It's very odd. Like it sounds like you can hear internal pieces of it shaking. For quality. There's not much comparison. I'm actually not that great at hearing the difference between different levels of like speakers and headphones and stuff like that. I'm not much of an audiophile. I don't know a whole lot about the differences between good equipment. I've had people who are very good at it explain it to me and say like, oh, listen for this and this. And I kind of miss it a lot. And it's not because I don't have good hearing. Like I've had hearing tests where they're like, oh, your hearing's really good. I just am not attuned really well to that kind of stuff. But in this case, to me, it's pretty obvious. If you're looking for sound canceling, it's not going to be it. It is passive noise isolation. Yeah. So it basically just means uh, it covers your ear. They're what you get for $18. So you just found out that these should technically be splash resistant. Yes, the, the waterproof rating on them says splash resistant, which I think means you could even be a little more aggressive than that. What you've got going is like the sprinkling. I think you could probably just like splash, 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 splash. I guess we're about to see what it sounds like if you play them underwater. <laughs> We're now testing them against something they don't even <laughs> claim to be good at. Haven't died yet. They do play. Yeah, universal power. 
So yeah, I mean, if you just need a cheap pair of headphones, you don't care, knock around, that can do even more than they say they can, you can submerge them. Now we haven't tested like the longevity. We haven't tried, you yeah. know, regularly using these for a couple months to see how they hold up. We don't know, but at least right off the bat. Initial unboxing, I'm impressed Not for bad. the price. <laughs> so Nate is currently looking up uh, information on like the world's strongest flashlights. This is the one that he has done the little bit of testing on. Just like I had opened up some of my packages, this is the one that he had opened up. My first thing that I'm realizing here, none of this is in English. Even though I understand that this isn't my language, the fact that the first thing I saw was low standard. That's not what it's really saying, but that's the first thing my brain translated it to. Just low standard. Something sold, at least it says that it is the world's most powerful flashlight and it puts out enough heat and energy to light paper on fire and cook an egg. It's a 4,100 lumen flashlight. Direct sunlight is about 93 lumens per watt of radiant flux. Uh, every square foot of the sun is 10,000 lumens. This was sold as 99 million lumen flashlight. This thing should explode when we turn it on. It shouldn't I, be safe. We should turn it on and it should just burn a hole. It should be like turning on a lightsaber that just never ends. We should be able to spear Pluto with this thing. I have to know what this thing looks like. Can we open it? Can we open it? Yeah, yeah, let's take a look at it. Woohoo! Such oh, a... by the way, this was $8. $8, guys, for Here your it is. own 99 sign. million lumens. So this should be approximately as powerful as 2,000 Coast Guard spotlights. Shine it directly at my face. This could be a Raiders of the Lost Ark situation. You just melt. Go, 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 go. I'm not sure we're ready for this. Are you melting? Ah, yeah, no. Guys, we tested this ahead of time. <laughs> Not because we were worried. But because we had to know. I have a flashlight from Walmart that's slightly better than this, I think. 99 million lumens. Like, we don't even try. They're just like, what's a big number? I don't know. <laughs> a million? 99 million? They, they just start throwing up arbitrary numbers because like, oh, if it's a bigger <laughs> number, people will want it more. All right, so this is supposed to be a drill, just an electric drill. The ones we have here are DeWalt brand. That's what we use. Okay, and this was uh, $36. Oh, these feel very high quality. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, Here we okay, go, here well. we go. We got a battery. Heavy-ish. We got a charger. 36 volt, huh? Hmm, I don't think so. Generally with drill batteries, the voltage scales directly with the physical size of the battery. Do you feel that shaky thing it's doing? A little bit, yeah. It feels like this isn't quite centered perfectly, yeah. so it's just got a little bit of play to it, which is not something you really want. Let's try some drill bits and some screws and see how they do. So if I have it on one, I should be able to stop it with my hand. The yes. idea is that if you're screwing into something and you don't want it to drive in too much, you want it to stop. Usually if you're using the drill, you turn it all the way up and it'll have its own setting for the drill. However, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to drill into the wood at all because I think it's just gonna stop it from spinning. Hmm. Okay, why don't we charge it, look at the last two products and uh, come back. All right, the last two is your idea, but it's pretty hilarious. We got outfits. I got myself a gray suit. Comes in a nice Ziploc <laughs> bag, which only the finest suits come in. Hey, my evening gown came in a plastic bag. It is extremely wrinkled. That's to be expected, yeah. it got shipped. You would have to like get this steamed or something to get all the wrinkles out, but we're not trying to focus on the wrinkles. So I basically fit. just went with a fit to my shoulders. And you know, the shoulder fit is maybe off by half an inch, but it's pretty good. Um, the problem is that they assume that anyone with 19 inch shoulders is a certain size straight. everywhere else. Well, it almost looks so like they expect instance, you to be straight down. This is a little bit extra. <laughs> I mean, there should be like a little, but like, this is a lot. The sleeves are just a touch too long. Like this shirt sleeve is pretty much right on and these sleeves should end, you know, here. Instead they end, you know, it's not a big difference, but it's a difference. This is more of a problem. The overall low quality is just astounding. I'm a 30 waist. These are a size 37 waist. So for me, 
there's some extra room in there a, a, a lot, yeah. a lot bit. My results are different. I'm kind of in love. Like this is actually kind of fun. You did have to pin it in one spot, I did. so it wasn't a perfect fit. But I ordered a size 10 because I was just thinking, oh, it's gonna ship from China. It's gonna be too small. Um. No, I think if I had ordered a size 6 or something, this would be perfectly fitted to me. So yeah, so there's one spot that I did pin before I came out because it it sort of was a little revealing without it, which pulls everything up and then in, so it actually fits a little bit better. I'm not the curviest girl there is, but it actually fits very well. Yeah, there's no inside pocket. It's not just sewn up, there just I'm isn't sorry. one. Just look at it though, the material. Here goes, trying to drill a hole. Oh, it's doing better! Yay! Can you still stop it with your hand? I can stop it, but it's not that it skips. It's drilling. Let's try... Make a hole. A force a bit here. <laughs> Alright, well, try it as a screwdriver. It got there. It did. It didn't have the same force, but it drove it. That's a three inch screw. Drove it all the way into the two by four. Okay. So I can't say it doesn't work for that. I do suspect that if you had one of these and you tried using it for a while, what would end up happening is it would just die on you after like using it for a few projects. And then you'd have to buy another one and you'd end up buying so many of them that in the end it would just be cheaper to get one good one. Again, we haven't done a longevity test. Maybe this will last for a really long time. The charger honestly makes me more nervous than anything else. I do not believe that this is actually a 36 volt battery. But I'm gonna say out of everything that we ordered, seven out of 10. The suit is definitely the worst part. Oh yeah, it was very much hit and miss. The headphones, okay, if they were what they said they were. The light, <laughs> no. The dress, Yes to this dress. I like this dress. But this was kind of hilarious. So again, it comes down to check the reviews because otherwise... Don't buy a suit for $23. I am quite confident that I will uh, never wear this again. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for our most recent video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.